Well, it's gone, everybody. All right, in this little test, it's one big experiment. First of all, you should notice, you might be able to notice that uh, I want to add an extra layer to my video game. So I'm always trying something new. Uh, so right now, you should notice a slight stereo effect, especially in the, the, the tail of the reverb test. Check two, slight, uh, slight stereo. Even though this is, uh, you know, when it trains on AM, upper side band or lower side band, it's going to be mono. So I'm going to add a little bit, uh, need, need something, I don't know, a different dimension to my, <laughs> I call this my narration voice. So, and also, I want to be make sure everything's dead silent between words. So I'm going to shut my trap here. You should hear absolutely nothing. Right now, I'll have some fans running on the background. I'll shut my trap here. Test. Check. Also, I want to key up. Hold on. Key up here. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It says 90, 90 dB down. Absolute silence. Okay, let's go to Cakewalk here before we get to the video gate here. And let's go over to the pan. All right now, I should be in your left ear. All right over to your uh, right uh, ear hole there. And then oh, back to dead center. I get that to zero. Close enough. There we go. Oops. Ah, good enough for here. Okay, so let's get on it. I'm experimenting with this. I'm going to see how this sounds. Uh, when it translates over to when I edit the video, and he's experimenting, he's having pro trouble with a uh, Texas Star amplifier, DEI, 1x4 DEI box. Just sounds like garbage. Uh, anything with DEI transistors are horrible. So first, he's going to compare his uh, two-pill Toshiba Texas Star, and then compare it to the 1x4 DEI box. Quite the difference. I'm going to be screwing around here, too, with playbacks and all this stuff. So anyhow, he's experimenting with the... Uh, Texas Star, I'm experimenting with some different audio. A little bit of stereo mix. All right, let's get into it. Check you guys later. All right, there's 742. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, tell me your setup you're talking on now before I switch over. So give me an uh, audio check. All right, uh, so what we are on at the moment, uh, we are on the Hermes Light 2 Plus, and uh, we are talking into... Um, the focus right here, and the output is from a Texas Star DX350 uh, doing roughly, I don't know, probably 75, maybe 100 watts peak output. Okay, all right, right now um, for our experiment here, I have noise reduction is off, uh, so you can hear clearly what's going on. Okay, so I got that on uh, recording. So whenever you want, whenever you're ready, switch over to the other one. I want to hear, hear what's going on with that. All right, here, uh, just give me a minute, and I will switch over. i got to switch, obviously, the power and uh, coax and everything around, but give me just a minute here, and uh, I will uh, be right back. Uh, okay, uh, I am back. back, and I switched it out. Uh, I'm not sure... What's going on on your end if there's any noticeable uh, difference between this other Texas Star amplifier, but it has the DEI transistors pills in it? Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad I had this recording going. It sounds a little uh, like chopped up, a little, little broken up a little bit. Um. Also, although you're still giving me ADS units down here, it seems like the other amp was a little bit stronger, I think. I'll know better when we, we review this video. But, uh, yeah, there, it, it sounds like something is uh, a little bit little distortion in there. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not driving it hard enough here. Let me, uh, let me up the drive just a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that made any difference or not. Uh, but I upped the drive just a touch. Uh, so let me know if that made any any difference on the audio or not. Okay. Uh, then that, yeah, when you jump, bump up the uh, dry, or the power there, I could uh, hear a little bit better. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of clipping going on. Uh, I don't know how that thing's biased. The, the one pill section. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's bias issue or not. So. Yeah, that, that's a what? A one by four. The other one was a, a, a two pill. But there's definitely some kind of uh, clipping going on with that uh, DEI box, the, the one by four. All 
right. Let me uh, let me put the uh, amplifier. I'm going to put the delay on it, even though I can't with a foot pedal. Uh, let me try that. Okay, uh, I, I really think it knocked the power way down with the, the delay being on. Uh, did that make any difference if in signal and in the audio? Okay, uh, you dropped way down, way, way down, and uh, there's still a lot of distortion in there. So, uh, yeah, you want way down in there. Oh, okay, well, uh, we're back to where we were. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just put this to the wayside and, and try and get rid of it there. Uh, let me try one more thing. I'm going to put the uh, tuna watt in and try that. All right, I'm standing by. Okay, uh, I don't know if that made any difference. I think the signal went down because uh, I'm pretty much doing next to nothing for power. Uh, but curious uh, if the audio and the signal went down. Yes, sir, you are correct. Yeah, they, you're, I can just barely hear you, and I still hear that uh, distortion and muffliness in there. All right, well, I will go back to uh, my original setup there. Give me just a few seconds, well, a minute or two, and I'll be back. Okay, I think I got you on that one playback. Hold on here. I don't know if I have to set the right, hold on. I'm going to put the delay on it, even though I can't with a foot pedal. Uh, let me try that. This is weird, the stereo Ooh, in my head. Yeah, that sounds nasty. Yeah, hold on, do it one more time. This is weird, I'm getting stereo in my headphones now. Uh, uh, doing it this way. <laughs> I'll play it back one more time here. I'm going to put the delay on it, even though I can't with a foot pedal. Uh, let me try that. Okay, go ahead and uh, switch things around there. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Okay there, uh, Mr. KP68, we are back in business. Okay, yeah, much, much better. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that thing. I don't know. Uh, same thing, my little uh, Texas Star uh, 350, uh, it's a piece of garbage uh, with the DEI. I mean, the thing goes in instant oscillation. The only time it does go in the os oscillation, if it's into a perfect resist of 50 ohm load, other than that, uh, yeah, it just, it just blows. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, uh, it is weird, but, uh, it's a shame because, I mean, uh, I really like how that the, the Texas star, you know, one by four is, but, uh, yeah, definitely even on that playback, I could hear all the choppiness in it. Okay, let me play it back. Make sure my uh, wave file is set right. And I think it's set right, right at zero. It's different on AM than it is on sideband. I've got to make different adjustments for, for everything for my AM stuff. But okay, hang on. Here we go. But uh, it's a shame because, I mean, uh, I really like how that the, the Texas Star, you know, one by four is. But uh, yeah, definitely. Even on that playback, I could hear all the choppiness in it. And that's how it went down. Right on, right on. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, sounds like there's a lot of static in the background. Uh, and whenever you did the recording there, it, it obviously picks up the uh, the ground static, I think. Uh, yeah, on my end. I don't have noise reduction on. Wait, give me a second. Let me turn the noise reduction on. And then in, uh, in, in conjunction with that, let me uh, adjust my EGC, get as much uh, background noise. However, that will take away from your, uh, you know, the overall volume of your of your audio there. Give me a second here. Let me get this set up. Okay, come on back. Give me a uh, check. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, the test of the new recording with uh, your uh, noise reduction or noise blanker. I think you did the noise noise reduction. 
and uh, messed around with the AGC to get the background static out of there. Okay, here we go. Like I said, uh, that's why I was just my AGC when I run noise reduction too, because it uh, I reduce my AGC if noise floor down or it picks up that uh, you know background hiss. That's where you get the uh, you know it sounds like somebody's running a washing machine behind you. But okay, here's the playback. I, as you were talking, I was adjusting a little bit. But hold on here. Uh, a noise reduction or noise blanker. I think you did the noise noise reduction and uh, messed around with the AGC to get the background static out of there. Oh, okay. Wow. On my end, it sounds <laughs> it sounds really good on the on the on the playback. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad, but it, it took all the static out of the background. Uh, that is one thing it definitely did. Yeah, when you see this video, you'll be like, whoa, that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, the playbacks get a little bit tricky. Uh, that's why I'm really, really peculiar, or particular about how I play people back. Because I'm gonna, uh, cause if you have things wrong, you will not get an accurate, uh, accurate representation of how they sound over the air. Except if you run it too hot. Uh, actually, when you watch this video... I'll go into my WAV file. Yeah, this uh, TX gain is up too high. I remember we were talking about this. Uh, your playback will be horribly distorted. Uh, so, there, yeah, there's a lot of settings on here that have to, be, have to be right. As with all my recordings, I try to capture everybody exactly how they're heard over the air. I don't want to add or detract everything, but when you watch this, you'll, you'll be quite impressed. Right on, right on. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, so I, I'm curious if we can talk AM... Uh, if we go we'll go to AM, what our signals will be? Because I would like I, I messed around with your Pizzle Pro and <laughs> made an AM profile. I'm just curious if it's uh, if A, I'm going to give you a good enough signal to get a good report, and B, curious if you're going to hear it, you know, uh, AM side to be able to say, oh yeah, it sounds good or no. Okay, uh, give me a second here. Let me stop this video, and then uh, then we'll do the yeah. I'll we'll save AM stuff for another uh, you know video test here. So, all right, go ahead and sign off for this video gate, and then uh, get this thing out of the way, and then we'll we'll do our AM experiment. All right, there, K Pizzle, uh, KP sixty eight. Uh, yeah, this was the test of the um, difference between a Toshiba. Uh, Texas Star and a DEI Texas Star. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the amplifiers or not, uh, but uh, it was giving choppiness that was uh, obviously heard over the air. But uh, appreciate it, KP68 from your friend 742, just north of you in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll see you. We're free and clear. <laughs>